The pandemic opened up a whole new world of remote work possibilities. And with the ability to work from home comes more freedom to choose where you want to live, right? So if you live in a city, but you're looking for a more affordable home, maybe more space to roam or just a change of scenery, there are plenty of places across Canada that would make sense to call your next home. We sent our producer, producer Tyler, out to find those places and show you what life might be like if you were to move there. His first stop, Coburg, Ontario. Coburg, Ontario, home to about 20,000 people, an hour and a half east of Toronto, about the same distance west of Kingston, but it feels like a completely different world here. And if it looks like I'm dressed like I'm on vacation, it's because I kind of feel like I am. I think Coburg predominantly was always considered a retirement town, and it has been for a long time. So we're seeing a shift now where people can work from home more. So a lot of younger families are starting to come here, a lot of more first-time buyers. So as we're shopping clients around the marketplace, this is probably the biggest shift that we're noticing in the people we're bringing to the area. Now, the median price of homes in Toronto is about $1.2 million, and if you want something detached, you better be prepared to pay a little bit more than that. Now, down the highway here in Coburg, we're going to cap our budget at $750,000 and show you three homes currently for sale to give you an idea of what the market here is like. Our first home comes in right at the top of that budget with a listing price of $750,000. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom turnkey home on a corner lot in a family friendly suburban neighborhood. The kitchen is modern and it's a good size, as is the fully furnished basement that comes with a gas fireplace. It's got an attached garage, not much of a backyard, but the side slash front yard makes up for that. Location wise, it's right around the corner from a school, a hospital, a community center, a golf course, and a large shopping center. The next home is a little bigger and a little cheaper, but you'll see why. With a listing price of $700,000, this four-level side split boasts four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a large front-facing living room, but as you can see, it needs some love. It's outdated and the basement is completely unfinished, but the bones are certainly there. There's a couple trade-offs. The first is this big, beautiful backyard that comes with a screened-in porch. And the second is the neighborhood. This home is a five-minute walk from the lake, and it's nestled in a sprawling suburb with large properties, lots of trees, and wide roads. If you have a little room in the budget for some upgrades, it's well worth the asking price. Our final home is a two-bedroom, one-bathroom condo in a beautiful red brick low-rise with an asking price of just $480,000. Despite being on the small size, it doesn't feel cramped at all. The vaulted ceilings play a big part in that. It's completely turnkey and modern, though the kitchen could probably do with some updating, but the big selling point here is the location. It's literally down the street from both the marina and Coburg's downtown core. Everything you could need is within walking distance. You couldn't be more central than this, and for less than 500000 This is Victoria Park, no more than 10 minutes from all three of the properties we've shown you. It's home to a restaurant, a splash pad, a pavilion, a lawn bowling club, and of course, a beautiful beach. Now, you might be thinking, Tyler, working from home is all well and good, but sometimes I just need the amenities only offered in an office setting. So how am I going to get that in a pinch if I'm away from the big city? Well, the answer, thoughtful viewer, is right here, Venture 13. This is a 15,000 square foot workspace and innovation center. You can rent a desk to work from, you can have your own private office, you can book meeting spaces, and there's even an engineering lab with manufacturing capacity, all accessible without the commute. Now, we came to Coburg during the Sidewalk Sale. It's an annual event that brings the vendors out onto King Street, so you can do your shopping outdoors or pop into one of the shops owned and operated by the people living here. We have a great following. We're a healthy food concept restaurant, and we don't defer from that. That's what we stick at. We don't own a deep fryer. We don't deep fry food. Everything's baked. We just uh, got our liquor license, so we're open at nighttime, and we got the Spanish fusion going. My background's sushi. So you come here and it's kind of different. So what you'll find at the Market in S'more is it's a zero food waste market. So everything you see in the produce section when it's at its peak freshness, we bring it into our kitchen and we make all of our own to-go foods with it. Living here in Coburg has been a gift. What has happened is we have had this influx of uh, retirees and young families. A lot of people are coming here who are entrepreneurs, work for themselves, are in business with their partners, uh, work from home. My partner is in Vaughan, I was in Collingwood, and we came for a slower pace of life. Also, it's affordable out here. We couldn't afford to open a business like this back home. So here, being able to purchase a beautiful building and a beautiful downtown and watch it evolve, watch it become bigger, it's been really great. 
The one thing about Taps and Corks is that we get 20 year olds all the way up to 80 year olds and they all mix and mingle together. And they love each other, they talk and they just tell stories. I, I grew up in Port Hope, which is next door. Moved to Toronto for 20 years and now I'm back in Coburg. And I can't imagine my life being anything different than this. There's more subdivisions being built. There's more people coming in. It's a great little town. It's a great little town. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.